Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. Today we're going to go into the new game mode, Nuclear Winter. It is a PvP battle royale, battle to the last team or person standing, and it takes place inside Vault 51. Now you have, as I can see, less than one minute to gather as much information as possible before the game drops us into the new map. Now, you, you need to make your way to grow. the front Your desk terminal. And we're trying to find as much information and lore about Vault 51 as we can. The first group, A to C, are all deceased. I'm sorry this is going quickly. I have very limited time. The Overseer, R, Gill, status unknown. I managed to put a screen cap right in there. So it looks like everybody in Vault 51 is deceased except for the unknown whereabouts of the Overseer, first initial R, last name Gill. And the last person we're looking to see if they entered Vault 51 is Ida Welsh. She's listed as registered nurse and is deceased. I guess her children did not reach her in time to tell her to not join Vault 51. So I will be back in a moment or two with the next one to two minute clip of Inside Vault 51. Okay, I am back. I'm still trying to get my bearings here, but if you're at the front desk terminal and veer to the left in the security area, there are quite a few terminals you do not have access to. You need rank 26, rank 36, rank 51 to get through this laser grid, rank 20, and the same for the exit or entrance on this side, also rank 20. There are also a few holotapes. I found one in the medical bay. I hopefully can grab a look at that one and one near the actual vault entrance. That I think you need to be over 100. Sadly, I'm at level five right now, so uh, it's going to take me a while to get all of this lore together. So the next room you're looking for is the terminal room. If you see that display of three loot crates and the staircase going down, you'll find your way into the terminal room. So there was an inventory anomaly detected in one of two large crates. Life signs detected, possible sensor error. Now we know this was where our Gill, the current overseer, the last survivor of Vault 51, would have smuggled his way out in a crate, and that was the crate we found outside the Super Duper Mart in Morgantown. So in the terminal next to that one, we have a message from Rosemary Villa. A talent show sounded like a fun idea, especially after we lost Aiden. Everyone was so excited for some R&R, &R, and then Zax changed the rules. If we knew we had to risk our room, there's no way we would have participated. We're amateurs with no practice or training. How could we compare to Carmen Green? She's a world-class singer, and Stephanie played with the Huntington Philharmonic. It was so unfair. And now they move upstairs, and we're all sharing this tiny room. Crystal and Helen are absolutely furious with me. Maybe Helen can convince Reuben to trade rooms with us. That guy will do anything for Helen. So it seems Zax is starting to pit the vault dwellers against each other and ramping up the tension in the vault. And on the terminal directly behind me, you find a conversation between Zax and the Enclave go to the second request, which is Zach's console log. And it says, XO2 power armor, future tech, 
department head, Dr. Stanislas Braun. Now you will remember Dr. Braun from Fallout 3, which hasn't happened yet because Vault 76 and Fallout 76 is a prequel. But Dr. Braun being the head overseer at Vault 112 was conducting some rather interesting experiments regarding a specific quest line you may remember called Tranquility Lane. So in this respect, Zax is researching Dr. Braun's published research and speaking history, also his writing and speaking style. So he has a success at the probability of a direct match of 99.6%, sending a XO2 power armor requisition request. And the message is successful and delivered. Once. Dr. Braun, your request has been accepted. A prototype XO2 power armor unit will be shipped to Vault 51 immediately. The Enclave research team apologizes for the delay. And here's the original message. To the fools at Vault Tech, your refusal to comply with my requests are preposterous. My subordinates have requested many times for a set of XO2 power armor, and every time they are ignored. Now I have to take time away from my simulations to contact you myself. Ridiculous. I don't even need to explain myself. Send a set of this armor to Vault 51 immediately. It is of the utmost importance. And do not make me ask again, Dr. Stanislaus Braun. So there will be a set of XO2 power armor somewhere here in Vault 51. As I find out more information about Vault 51 and get access to some of the other rooms and terminals, I will add to the Vault 51 uh, lore episodes. So thanks so much for watching, and see you out in the world.